Good evening, YouTube. It is Thursday, and as of last Tuesday, I once again have a computer that is uh, iMovie functional. Hence, vlog. Megan, Melissa, glad to see your videos up this week. Megan, I'm so happy for you that you got to meet Kendall and that he's following you on Twitter and all that amazingness. Melissa, I really like your anecdote. I think it's super cool that someone spontaneously recognized you. My summer is drawing to a close, and although I can't say I'm ready, I think I'm satisfied with my summer. Um, I spent significant time with my sig fig. I went to Chicago. I uh, induced asexuality into yeast through mutagenesis, and I played cards. I watched a whole lot of YouTube. And one of the things I watched on YouTube was a Hank Green video. I know, shocker there, it's something I do a lot. And it was his video from after VidCon, and he was talking about how he valued media, just different parts of media that he consumed, and how he wanted more media that he could be further committed to. And this was all sort of a foreign idea to me, because mostly when I think of, like, TV or movies or stuff, I mostly think that, you know, it's something I enjoy, but I'm wasting my time, and I would most certainly be better off doing something else. And so for him to put it forward as something valuable sort of got me thinking about how there is value in this visual media, especially if it either evokes a response or an emotion or adds complexity to an idea. A few weeks ago, I watched The Fall of North Stars again. And of course, this is a terribly sad movie based off of a book by John Green, wherein the main character is dying of lung cancer. But it first evokes an emotion with me, the audience, even though I've never lived through something quite like that. I don't know any adolescents who are terminally ill. And yet, it makes me empathize with the idea. And second, it adds this layer of complexity in that, see, and I don't feel like the movie or the book are really about the people dying, but rather in how they affect each other and the people around them. And so it was sad, and I found it moving. But I also watched like four other movies that week, and I found those all moving too in very, very different ways. And that's cool. Poetry and writing are also such great ways to express emotions or complex ideas. Of course, The Fall of Our Stars is based on a book. I read so many books that just have lines in them that I find shocking and very emotional just in themselves. Uh, and then, of course, you have larger plot lines throughout the book. And it's just amazing how many complex emotions you can feel without going anywhere or having any experiences of your own. And of course, you should go places and have your own experiences, but it's cool that you don't have to to feel something. I also love listening to the poetry of Shane Quigzan or whatever his name is, because he's able to so beautifully render these like moments in his life and these things that he feels and place those on the listener. And then I want to talk about this format of YouTube that anyone with an internet connection and a camera can express their ideas and like interact with this idea of media. People use it to produce music and to educate others and do say humorful things and post vlogs about themselves and the things that they think are important. I want to make special note, of course, the Green Brothers. I mean, our vlog is based off of theirs. Um, they've done amazing things in that they educate people with SciShow, Crash Course, to teach people about certain subjects. They explore existential ideas while playing video games, and they unite people around common causes to, as they say, decrease world suck. Lastly, I want to talk about music and songs and how even past poetry, it does evoke certain feelings that the creator was feeling, but also our brains create these strong associations. I have songs that make me think of colors, and I have songs that make me think of different times throughout my life, and I have songs that no matter what mood I am when I start listening, I feel the same way as I did when I first heard it. And that's amazing. If I might be so bold as to issue an assignment, uh, I would really love it if you would comment some form of media, be it a movie or a song or a poem, that has just meant something to you. All the best!